Prophet Quran itself, itself is the remedy for sadness. When Allah is speaking, when Allah is speaking to you and me, that is a remedy of sadness. What more could we ask for? And then Allah, and by the way, when you become grateful, what's the show of gratitude? The show of gratitude is Salat. And what's the show of celebration? Slaughtering an animal, party, one how? Sacrifice an animal. Don't even worry about your enemy. You're your enemy, I'll deal with him. You just worry about praying and focus on the good I've given you. Just think about that. And your sadness will go away. The Muslims will have to learn these remedies from the Quran. These are not going to come to you. These, I can talk about this. But it's not, it's not going to stick with you. What will stick with you is your relationship with the Quran. And when Allah removes your sadness from the Quran, when you personally become like a fill, you have a, 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 an emotional attachment to this word, to the word of Allah, when that happens for you, you, can, you will not be overwhelmed by sadness. Sadness will come and Allah will take it away. Then it will come and Allah will take it away again. And it will come and Allah will take it away again. It's not like when Allah said to the Prophet Sallallahu He never experienced sadness again. He did, but Allah kept taking it away. And taking it away. And taking it away. So the Qur'an itself is a remedy. And if you have a distant relationship with the Qur'an, I don't know, then maybe some pills. <laughs> try try with the, the people who don't believe in Allah, you know. The people of yais, the people of hopelessness, people that don't have any hope. Those people can resort to any measure, any measure they want to, to get rid of their sadness. You know what people do to get rid of their sadness nowadays? They play video games. That's what they do. They, 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 they shoot drugs. You know, they smoke weed. They take hallucinogens. They drink. They go to clubs. So they can listen to brain-numbing music all night. So they don't have to actually think about how miserable their life is. Even if they're going to throw up the entire next day, it doesn't matter. Because at least now they don't have to deal with their sadness. Their sadness is eating away at them. It's eating away at them. And Allah Azza wa Jal gave us a solution for all the forms of sadness in this book. If we just asked Allah for it, if we just did, we'd be a happy people. I tell you, the world could use the optimism the Quran has to offer. It really does. But the world will not see it until we exhibit it. Why would anybody be curious about the Quran if the people of the Quran are always frowning? Honest to God. I, after, I lived in New York a long time. I went to high school here. I left here, what, four or five years ago. I didn't know that there was such a thing as Muslims just normally smiling. That was a new experience for me when I left here. That wasn't the norm. Guys, what is with it? Everybody else in the city is miserable and they have plenty of reasons to be. The smog, the pushing around in the subway, everybody else trying to cut you off, people, you know, the parking meter and whatever. You got all the reasons to be upset. It's cool. But you're Muslims. You're supposed to exhibit a happiness, a joy in your lives just because you're Muslim. And people should be like, why are you happy? <laughs> well, you know, la ilaha illallah. <laughs> Takes care of all my problems. It just takes care of my problems. That's what you're supposed to exhibit. May Allah Azza wa make us, and I don't, I don't want to sound upset when I tell you you shouldn't be upset, because that kind of beats the purpose. But be happy. There's so many reasons to be happy. We have so many reasons to be grateful to Allah. We live in a fantastic time. We are living, I believe, and I'm done in one minute exactly, inshallah. We are on the verge of a major Islamic renaissance in the world, and we have the opportunity to be in the driver's seat. Muslim youth in North America have the opportunity to be in the driver's seat of a worldwide Islamic renaissance, a cultural one, an intellectual one, a moral one. We are at the low, you can't go lower, basically. So the only way to look up now is what? There's only, you know, there's only way, the only place to look is high, is to look up. There's a lot of potential here. I, I, I told you guys, I travel all over the country. You know what you guys have un unique in New York? What you have that nobody else has? Power in numbers. There's more Muslim youth here that for some reason are religious or are religiously motivated. It is unprecedented anywhere else in the country. It is unprecedented. You guys have issues. I'm not saying you don't. You guys have issues. I left for a reason. 
But you also have remarkable potential. My goodness, the potential here is unparalleled. I used to think America is, I don't know, maybe like the Muslims in Europe, like maybe London. I've been to London a couple of times. Not uh you guys have a major advantage. Major advantage. So many students going to university and trying to learn their religion and trying to give the world Islam, you guys are at the, at the helm of a major renaissance. You are. You just have to think big. You have to think big and you have to be optimistic. You have to be grateful Allah put you in this position. What are you going to do with it? What are you, absolutely, what are you going to do with it, inshaAllah ta'ala? May Allah Azza wa not make us a people that are overwhelmed by sadness. May Allah Azza wa let us all be ones that are healed by the sadness, uh, the, the remedies to sadness that He offers in His book. May Allah Azza wa make our salawat, our prayers, our recitation of the Qur'an, and our learning, and our, and our brotherhood among each other, and our, and our sincere counsel to one another, a means by which mended hearts or broken hearts are healed. May Allah Azza wa make our masajid and our communities and our MSAs a place where brotherhood and tolerance and understanding and good feelings towards each other are fostered and jealousy and ill feelings and anger and suspicion and hatred are removed. That may Allah Azza wa make us a people that become an example for everyone else in the world. That this is, this is what beautiful, this, this is how Islam makes life beautiful. And this is what makes Muslims beautiful. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن الحكيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم. I sincerely apologize for taking so so long today, but if you guys have any questions, which I'm sure you do not, I'll, I'll try to address them briefly. بارك الله فيك.